Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer a question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we have... Rory! And... Lauren! Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about Chester A. Arthur from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Orange slime. Peaches and cottage cheese. Marshmallow tar and feathers. Tomato soup spray and croutons. Mystery eggs. Fish head noodles. Smoothie surprise. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. Hello, pies. Before we play, Chester A. Arthur was the 21st president of the United States from 1881 to 1885. He became president through a system called patronage, which some considered corrupt. But while serving, Arthur changed his mind about patronage and worked hard to fight corruption. He also fought to make America's Navy stronger. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah! Awesome, the youngest player goes first. Everybody get your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take them out of the bowl for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Understood? Yes. Let's get started. First question is for Rory. As a lawyer, Arthur defended a woman who had been forced out of a streetcar because she was black. Thanks to his work, what was she awarded? A, reparation, B, compensation, or C, consideration? B, compensation. That is correct, compensation. As a lawyer, Arthur worked on several cases defending black Americans. One of his clients was Elizabeth Jennings, who had been forced out of a New York streetcar because of her skin color. Thanks to Arthur's work, Jennings was awarded compensation or payment to make up for her treatment. It was a major victory against racial discrimination. It would not be guess or mess without some classic gooey ooey slime. Wonder what it smells like today. How does it smell? Ooh, 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 that smells worse than I expected. It Here sounds like it's alive now. <laughs> it might be alive. Uh oh, uh, it's coming. Uh oh. Three, two, one. And half. And no. zero. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Yuck. How does it feel? Ooey and gooey. That makes sense. I feel bad for you. You shouldn't. Do you really feel bad? No. I'm gonna give you something <laughs> worse. Oh, their payback might be coming your way. <laughs> Next question is for Lauren. Before becoming president, Arthur and his associate, Roscoe Conkling, strongly supported which system? A, solar, B, circulatory, or C, patronage? C, patronage. That is correct, patronage. During his career, Arthur was close friends with powerful politician Roscoe Conkling, the party boss of the New York Republican Party. Conkling, who was a congressman and eventually a senator, controlled New York politics through patronage, the ability to get your friends hired into powerful positions. Many people consider Conkling a corrupt politician, and Arthur benefited from their friendship. You really got your payback already. No! Let's see. What is it? Some nice yes! Georgia no! peaches and cottage cheese. No! I think CJ Pearson brought these from Georgia. Look at that. No! Oh. When is the expiration date? Three years ago? <laughs> Ew. Lucky you. No! No. I'll put it back. Just kidding. No! It's like spoiled it, it's, milk. It's splattered up to me. <laughs> it's <laughs> everywhere. And that's not Ew. supposed to Ew. Want some on your head? No! Just a little bit? No! Fine. Ew. Ew, I'd rather have my, it look like a chicken. You might still end up looking like a chicken. We'll see. It smells gross, too. Try stirring it up. Make like a nice cobbler. Oh, no, don't throw it at me. I've been nice to you so far. Yeah, right. Next question is for Rory. During Arthur's career, the Republican Party was divided into two groups. What were they called? Half-breeds and stalwarts. Wow, you've been practicing. Half-breeds and stalwarts, that's correct. In the 1800s, the Republican Party was divided between half-breeds, those who wanted to fight against the corrupt patronage system, and stalwarts, those who accepted the patronage system. Arthur and his friend Conkling were firm stalwarts. It's time. Uh, no, 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 not me. Fine, I won't make you look like a chicken, but I will make you look like Tweety Bird. It's not very nice. 
Yay! This is the nicest thing I could possibly do. Ew! <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. You've never been covered in marshmallow tar? Revenge. You know what? I never have. Really? Yeah, I know, right? Wow. So weird. That is weird. Yeah. I thought everybody just, you know, covers themselves in marshmallow tar. Yeah. Revenge. <laughs> Yuck. Revenge. Revenge. Not <gasps> very appetizing. You're going to be so sticky after this? Yeah. <laughs> Bunny will hate me. Oh, no. There we go. No. There we go. No. <laughs> Tweety bird. Tweety bird. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this isn't that bad of a look. Yeah, I think I actually might make a new fashion out of this. Right, where's Anna Wintour when you need her? Fabulous! Look at you go. You look like a supermodel. Yeah, really weird supermodel. I feel like you'll see some weirder fashions here in LA. Yeah. Get this off of me, I'm gonna fly away. <laughs> Next question is for Lauren. Which lucrative position did Arthur hold before becoming vice president and president? A, secretary of treasury, B, director of U.S. Mint, or C, collector of the Port of New York? A, secretary of treasury. That is incorrect. Let's see if Rory can steal it. This is a tough one. C, collector of the Port of New York. That is correct, collector of the Port of New York. With Conkling's help, Arthur was appointed the collector of the Port of New York in 1871. It was a high paying position in the federal government and earned Arthur a salary close to what the President of the United States made. Tomato soup spray time. You're kidding me. Oh no, I'm not kidding. Oh no. It's better than the, this. No it isn't. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Dump the whole can I'll try not it. to get too messy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like tomato soup? I do, not on my arm so. If only we had some grilled cheese for you. Is that enough? No. Yes. No? Yes. No. Yes. No. And one minute. That's the whole can. No. There's no more, it's empty. Ha. See, it's empty. Oh wait, it wasn't. <laughs> now it is. And just add a little crunch. Just one. And one up here. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Psych. It's raining. It's raining croutons. Now mix that up. What are you cooking in there? Something disgusting. Something disgusting. You want to try it? I'm good. Wow. I'm good. Yeah, he's good. Oh. Not adventurous. <laughs> this is all. Oh. What's that sound? Uh, I don't know. You're the Get host. It. That means it's time for a, a Patriot Pop, Pop Quiz. quiz. Now, each of you get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your Chester A. Arthur digital magazine. But there's a twist. You'll be blindfolded for your question and mess. Uh-oh. Not good at all. Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Rory. Whose face is featured on the $10 bill? A, Samuel Adams, B, Benjamin Franklin, or C, Alexander Hamilton? C, Alexander Hamilton. That is correct, <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton was a major founding father, a close friend to George Washington, and America's first Secretary of Treasury. In many ways, he was the man who created America's financial system. In 1928, his portrait was added to the $10 bill, where it has been ever since. You're not going to be able to see this mess, Lauren. How do you feel about that? Bad. Well, you know what, Lauren? I don't blame you for being nervous because this mess is disgusting. I think it's a fish. <sighs> I don't want to take a whiff of it. Oh, you're getting a smell. No, no, no. Take a smell, Lauren. Ew. What does it smell like? I think it might be a roach. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, yes. Not. Good. Oh no, that one's alive. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of that. It's the fish, I think. Oh, it's not fish. It splattered me, that's for sure. I don't even think a fish would eat this, it's so gross. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Lauren. 
According to legend, young George Washington confessed to his father that he cut down what kind of tree? Cherry tree. That is correct, a cherry tree. A famous story, George Washington chopped down his father's cherry tree when he was six years old. In the story, young George Washington confessed to the deed, saying, I cannot tell a lie. I did cut it with my hatchet. The story was meant to teach children about honesty, but there is little evidence that the incident happened. Ah, oh, speaking of cherry trees, I think these bugs crawl around uh -oh. the cherry trees. Oh wait, those aren't bugs. Those are fish eggs. Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna go real nicely with your peaches and cottage cheese. Mom, help! <laughs> Ew! Your mom said it stinks too much in here. She had to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses? Um, what kind of fish or bug it is? I think it's mealworms. <laughs> mealworms? You think I would put that in your bowl? Yes. I would. Try mixing it around. I believe in you. You can stir those bowls up. Let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. I don't want to know what those are. Those are artichokes. And uh, you got cherries. Not too bad. My hands look like jelly now. <laughs> you want some? It's on the house. Nope. How generous of you. I know. And now back to Chester A. Arthur. Next question is for Rory. <laughs> Arthur served as vice president under President James Garfield. What happened to Garfield that made Arthur president? A. Garfield was assassinated. B. Garfield resigned. Or C. Garfield was impeached. A. Garfield was assassinated. That is correct. <laughs> Garfield was assassinated. On July 2nd, 1881, a disturbed man named Charles Guiteau shot President Garfield at a train station in Washington, D.C. Garfield lived on for several weeks, but an infection eventually killed him on September 19th, 1881. Chester Arthur then became the 21st president of the United States. Are these real eggs or fake eggs today? I think they're filled with slime and bugs. Slime and bugs? Ew. I hope that they're good, not raw eggs. Not raw egg? They raw might eggs. be. Get them on her hair. I think so. I think egg would be really nice in your hair. Just, just hair. don't get it on my face. I can't promise that. The eggs have a mind of their own. <laughs> Not good. Ah. And three, oh. two, one. Oh, it's your lucky day. It's confetti. Thank goodness. Now oh. your bowl doesn't look as gross. Want to come to my party? No, <laughs> never. Your Tweety Bird party? Yeah. <laughs> Next question is for Lauren. Congress wanted to ban Chinese immigration for 20 years, but thanks to President Arthur's efforts, the ban's length was reduced to what? A, 10 years, B, five years, or C, three years? A, 10 years. That is correct, 10 years. In 1881, Congress passed a bill that stopped Chinese people from entering the United States for 20 years. As president, Arthur vetoed it. He felt it was unfair to the Chinese. Congress passed it again, but this time, thanks to Arthur's efforts, the ban's length was reduced from 20 years to 10 years. This is known as the Chinese Exclusion Act. Oh no. Oh yes. No! No! Yes. What do you mean? I don't like those. This isn't even for your bowl. This is my lunch today. Hey, Just least, kidding, it's for your bowl. At least you get a fortune cookie. And yeah. I can guess your fortune. You're about to be really disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might be correct on that. Just put them in from right here. Hey, get those hands in your bowl. You don't want to lose a point. It's a tight game. Ah! <laughs> Mom! Fish heads? Really? And... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was fine. No, no, no. No. No, no. What do you mean? Head. Open your mouth. No. Oh. Ew. And let's see what your fortune is. It says you're getting a pie in the face. Can I see? Can I just see? No. Why not? Not yet. <laughs> Next question is for Rory. President Arthur signed one of American history's most important civil service reform laws. What was this law called? A, Civil Rights Act, B, Pendleton Civil Service Act, or C, Patronage Reform Act? B, Pendleton Civil Service Act. 
That is correct, Pendleton Civil Service Act. Even though his friend Conkling opposed the Pendleton Civil Service Act, President Arthur signed it anyway in 1883. It was one of American history's most important civil service reform laws. It made sure that many jobs in the government would be filled by people who were qualified, not just because they knew someone powerful. I don't know about you guys, but all this guessing and messing is making me hungry. I just like to be creative in the kitchen. That's why I have spam and berries. This should be pretty good, right? No, too creative. Too creative? You can never be too creative. I am an artist with my cooking. Oh, yeah! Yeah! That looks delicious, doesn't it? No. If you just take out all the white stuff, you mean the spam? You need the spam in there. How does it smell? Yeah. Oh. It smells that bad? The whole Ew. thing. Pull the whole thing off. Ew, that is so gross. It's cold. You don't want a warm smoothie, do you? This oh, you like got Just try me. a little bit. No. Just a little bit. No, oh my I gosh. It's ice cold. I need you to tell everyone that my cooking's not that bad. Just try it a little is. bit. It's so bad. Bon appetit. Now it's time for the final question, and this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. Oh no! No, not the pie. Oh yes, the pie. And guess what? There's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Final question. As president, which branch of the military did Arthur focus on strengthening? Uh, you snooze, you lose. I think Lauren got it first. No. It was the Navy. That is? Correct, no! Navy. Yes. During Arthur's presidency, America was rising as a world power. He knew that the nation needed a world-class navy to meet its new responsibilities, so he fought to build gunboats and steam-powered warships. <sighs> it's pie time! Oh no. Well, since Lauren clearly did not appreciate my cooking, I hope you do. I love your cooking, but not the smoothie part. You know, the smoothie is an acquired taste, but everybody loves pie. Do all of it. Do all of it. All, all of it. The whole entire bottle. It's empty. Do some more. Just kidding. Do it more. My house. More. More, more, more. This is so much whipped cream. And now some nice strawberry syrup for you. Dump the whole thing. This looks so good. It's all about moderation with your sweets. You can't just dump the whole thing of strawberry syrup. Oh. It's just giving me a whole, it's not me, sugar rush looking at it. It's making me look sick. Ah, this is a beautiful pie, isn't it? Um, yeah, probably. You might get a pie later. Yeah. Can I get a countdown, please? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> and the biggest question of the day, how is my cooking? Good. Good? Thank you. You what? Well, I can hey! <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Here's what we learned. Chester A. Arthur was the 21st president of the United States. He became president through a system called patronage. As president, he surprised everyone and fought against corruption in the government. President Arthur also built up the U.S. Navy. The winner of our five-point star and American flag trophy is Rory. On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah! Well, thank you for playing with us, for being such great sports. Both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now, shake hands. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> and give each other a high five. And a high five for me. 
<laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.